four scratchers, one week. Who can get the most followers on a brand new account? Okay, so rule number one, you can't promote your account to your audience, and you also can't, like, promote your account on any alts or, like, any other accounts that you make. You can only use the one account. Um, no swearing. Um, don't make your account until the challenge start. We've broken that. All of us have broken that already. Um, you can't do follow for follow, follow on request, etc. So, like, no begging for follows. All follows have to come from your projects and stuff. You just cannot follow yourself on any other accounts. Yeah, I, I don't know. Are there any other rules that should be said? No skibbity among us. Yeah, no skibbity among us. No brain rot. Yeah, look at you, Viper. Look at you. Yeah, Viper. Undefin. You nerd. <laughs> undefin. No way. He undefin. He undefin. Wow, now he's talking. Come on, Viper, say something inspiring. Wow, Viper is so, so genius. Alright, let's go. Alright, gang. We have to sign out of our account after I check the mail. Okay, we have a completely blank slate. Um, if you're wondering why it says joined three weeks and six days ago, it's because we made our accounts way before the challenge began. Don't make your account until the challenge starts. Also, I don't like this profile picture at all, but I don't think it should really matter. Now would probably be a good time to mention that the loser of this challenge has to post whatever the winner wants them to on their community tab. All right, go ahead and create a new project. And I'm thinking for now, we could either do a platformer, the absolutely generic route, or we could look on trending and find something that isn't a platformer if it's possible. Okay, Mario, Scratch, Fortnite, Stickman Run. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. A speed running game. I don't really know for sure. Let's check this out. You can't even run up ramps, buddy. What? what? So we can do like a speed running game or something like this, where it's like you're trapped in a box and you have to kill enemies and stuff. If this got number nine on trending, I think we're pretty good. I think we might be able to do this. We just gotta have a stupid intro, an impressive title screen, and good art. And that's all we need. And music, of course. All right, we're gonna do something like this. All right, let's go into Untitled. So yeah, we're gonna do the incredibly generic box fighter thing. I don't really know what the theme is going to be. Okay, so I decided to go with a kind of like notebook papery theme. So this is the background. It's not really the best, but we might change it later. I'm gonna start work on the player now, and I'll get back to you after that. Okay, so I have five costumes. The first three are for idle, and the next two are for walking. So I'm going to go ahead and script the walking and animations in. Okay, so I finished the movement. The mobile movement is very, very scuffed, but it still works, kind of. Um, and then the normal movement, I have WASD and the arrow keys. So now I'm going to code in the animations. You know, I have literally no idea how to do the player animations. I completely forgot how, so I'm just going to steal the animations from this game which is absolutely incredible yet it never got released because it was never finished okay here we go player animations hopefully please okay yeah, i'm just completely scrapping the animation idea and i'm just having it do this all the time after i had sorted that out i made some other things like the pencil the ammo the ammo counter the score, enemies, and some other stuff that's not really important. To start off day two, I started to work on the menus. I made a title and I thought it looked pretty nice. Okay, so I have the menu system mainly done. I'm gonna add a background and stuff or just like make it look more interesting. But other than that, I think it's pretty good. After that, I had started to work on the item drops. The two items I made were ammo and heals. So now I'm gonna write some instructions and notes and credits, but before I do share it, there are a couple of small changes that I'm going to make. All right, so I just made a couple of changes. I feel like I could write this out more, but then I'm going to share and then spend a lot of time adding it to studios. All right, the time has come. 
I wrote really cringy instructions and notes and credits. And it is time to share. Oh wait, I have this. All right, I'm gonna just add the project to a bunch of studios and then I think I'm gonna be done for the day. Okay, so it is the next day. We have 22 messages, so let's check those. We have one follower. So the one remix, it's uh, with music because I completely, like I tried adding sounds and stuff, but they didn't save. So I'm just gonna re-add those. Editor me here. Uh, the reason the music didn't save is because Scratch doesn't take .wav files, and that's what the music was. And honestly, that's just really weird, and they should change that. Why, why won't you save with sounds? I bet you'd save without sounds. But we have 41 views and 6 loves and 6 favorites. So anyways, for my next project, I'm going to keep promoting this one because I feel like it could do really well. For my next project, I started to make a generic platformer because unfortunately, those things do really, really well. And I need the views. Alright, so I finally got music in. It was because it was a .wav file instead of like an mp4 or something, so it wouldn't save with that for some reason. But now we finally have music. So there's um, three different songs that it can actually play. Wow. I basically just spent the next like two hours working on the platformer. And also, yes, I am using a tutorial because I don't know how to make platformers because I make original games. Alright, so I think I finished the platformer. It does take kind of a weird twist, so I'm going to make a thumbnail tomorrow and publish it. But here is the final product, hopefully. I'm not going to bore you with the platformer because it's a platformer, but the weird twist that I was talking about was after you finish the platformer, you actually redo all the levels, but something is just slightly different in every single one. But I worried that that was just stupid and Scratch might take it down because it was a little bit scary. So I just eventually scrapped it. All right, we are back. And before I actually publish this platformer, I'm gonna completely remove the part where you just redo the entire game because it's honestly really, really stupid. After I had published the project, I decided to go add Doodle Fight to some studios. But while I was doing so, I made a fatal error that could have costed me the entire challenge. Oh no, shoot. I just took it out of the proposed projects to be featured studio. You know, I always look for that studio before I like take it out of studios because I've had it happen before and it, it just annoys me so much. But I just don't do a very good job of looking ever. Oh man, no, no. Someone added, someone like got it added. I'm gonna look. Shout out to this guy. Patrick's if I wasn't a fool. Oh, that's so annoying. Whatever it is what it is. Yo, wait, I just realized The guy that proposed it to be featured he was the inspiration for the game. All right, we got two messages already Let's see what people are saying. Oh, it's just a heart and favorite. I mean, it's better than nothing big news as well We have three followers. So, so yeah, shout out to my three followers. I don't want to be like a stereotypical YouTuber, but I'm gonna have to be like a stereotypical YouTuber. Please subscribe, this video took me months to make. For day five, I got in a call with Project Labs and he actually gave me some great advice. He told me that if I wanted to get a ton of views really quickly, I should try the Scratch Design Studio. Now this is a really good idea. He showed me some examples of some of his own work, which was really interesting to say the least. I threw together a quick title in GIMP and I decided to call it Carnival Games because the Scratch Design Studio was about Carnival Games. By the end of the day, this is what the project had started to look like. But wouldn't it be really funny if I had accidentally forgot to save it to my account because I was using Turbo Warp and wasn't able to access the project the next day? Hey, guess what I did? Yeah, you'll never believe it. 
I completely forgot to save the project to my account, and I wasn't able to access my laptop. I had to remake it from scratch. Oh, the, the joys of game development. Other than get annoyed and have to remake the entire project, I didn't really do anything else other than finish the project, share it, and add to a bunch of studios. All I really did for the rest of the day was work on the project. I added a ton of features which I'm not going to list off now, but you can go check out the project if you want to. Alright gang, it's 11.32, we are in the final stretch. Half an hour to go, we are going to spam add to studios. So I think I figured out both Viper and Spart's accounts. So I'm pretty sure this is Spart um, because of the time join. And also he said he was going to like use one of his platformer engines. And would you look at that. And also, I, I don't know if he like knows my account or if it's just completely random. But he's following me. And then we have Viper, who's this guy. Um, For the next half hour, I just continued spam adding to studios. Adding it to studios became my life. I got really tired of doing this, but I forced myself to go on. I kept doing this until it was time. Four scratchers, one week. Who can get the most followers on a brand new account? If you want to go see the results, you're going to have to watch Viper's video, which will be linked in the description and in the end card. But meanwhile, here are some updates. I just decided to randomly check the account. It's on trending. I've never gotten on trending on my main account. All the games have over a thousand views, by the way. It's been almost two months since the challenge has ended, and right now the account is sitting at 10,000 views. And yeah, as I said, all the games have over a thousand views. This one has 2,000, 2,000, this one has the most likes and favorites because it's a platformer. And this one is the most viewed of all of them at 5,000. That's absolutely crazy. That's half as many views as my most popular game on my main account has. Okay, so this is probably going to be the last update unless something even crazier happens. So you might notice that I have 5.4 thousand messages, 194 followers. You remember how Patrix proposed my project, Doodle Fight, to be featured, and how I was a fool and removed it from the studio, and how I said, I really hope Scratch Team looked at it. Scratch Team looked at it. This is my first time ever getting featured, right? And it's not even on my main account. I, I added some ads and I've gotten like 40 followers from this too. But yeah, right here, you see featured projects, doodle fight, right there. It's featured. I, I'm not kidding, I was shaking when I saw this. And the story of how I actually found out it was featured is a little funny. I was trying to do something on the Scratch website and I was just kind of staring at this and I knew it was my thumbnail. But it took me like uh, 30 seconds to realize, oh wait, that's me, I'm featured. I didn't win the original one week challenge. I'm genuinely really happy though. I mean, thank you so much, Scratch Team. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end. I really appreciate it. And go watch Otto's video next if you haven't.